On May 4, 1886, striking workers and sympathizers gathered in Haymarket Square in Chicago to peacefully protest lethal measures taken by police against strikers the day before. At the end of the protest, police ordered the rally to disperse, and someone, to this day no one knows who, threw a bomb into the line of officers. The police immediately opened fire, killing at least four protesters and injuring many others. Although protesters were largely unarmed, about 60 officers were injured and seven were killed, mostly by friendly fire. Reports at the time indicated that the civilian casualties were much higher. Eight of the protest organizers, who were anarchists, were convicted of the murder of the first police officer, and while the governor eventually pardoned all eight of them, four had already been put to death, and a fifth had killed himself before the state got the chance. Most of the time, the story ends there. In 1889, a private club erected this monument in Haymarket Square in honor of the police officers killed during the riot. It stood there until 1927, when a streetcar jumped its tracks and knocked it over because the driver was sick of looking at it. The next year, the city put the statue back up, but they moved it about a mile away to Union Park. After the construction of the Kennedy in 1956, the city moved the statue back to its original location, but put it on a special platform overlooking the expressway. It stayed there until 1969, when some anarchists who were protesting the Vietnam War blew it up. The city rebuilt the statue, but in 1970, the same anarchists blew it up again. Mayor Daley, the first one, not the one we have now, put a 24-hour police guard around the statue for the next two years and then eventually just moved the statue part to the lobby of the police headquarters. A few years after that, the city moved the statue again into the courtyard of the police academy, where I guess it was safe. The empty pedestal stood next to the expressway for a while, getting vandalized by anarchists, until eventually it was knocked down to make way for more new construction. In 1992, the city installed a plaque in Haymarket Square with a little statement about how the riots helped pave the way for the eight-hour workday. Most recently, in 2004, the city commissioned a new monument commemorating the workers, and they put it up right back in the old Haymarket Square. The city was supposedly planning on putting a whole park there, but that project seems to be on hold. So far, no one's blown the new statue up or knocked it over, but that doesn't mean everybody's happy with it.